What's up guys, Ali and Adam coming to you guys with a quick tutorial. This is something I've been doing for a long time now and um, I refer to it as like a sustained loop or how to sustain a loop. Back in the days I used to do it using Edison but I watched a recent video where Bass Jackers was doing it using Direct Wave. So I'm gonna share that with you guys. So there's no better way to explain it to you than to hear what I have. So I'm gonna play back what I have and then I'm gonna explain how to get the same effect, all right? So you might recognize that it might not be the right uh, key, but it's uh, similar to Swedish House Mafia one. Um, and what they did there is that they're taking a kick and they kept looping it, looping it and making the end um, of the loop, the sustained loop shorter and shorter up until you get the tone that you desire. And of course, however you tweak that a bit shorter, a bit longer will dictate the note or the frequency that you get. Now, doing it manually with Edison is hard. Like what you could do is have one instance of Edison um, playing the note continuously and another one recording. And that's what I used to do, but you can't automate it. Um, you're left with whatever you have. You're, you're pretty much just, um, it's gonna be really rough as opposed to doing it automated. Now, not that this is bad, but it's a manual, hands down, just really, if you make errors or anything, it has to be good and you sometimes you have to keep recording it. So um, I've been dabbling around with this. So Direct Wave is what we're using. Now I don't have Direct Wave, I'm using the demo and you're gonna need to use the demo. So once you throw in a instance of Direct Wave, it'll look like this and go ahead because you need to access the sample section. And if it's unavailable to you, just hit this up here that says FL player, it'll switch to demo and you'll be able to use it in the meantime. I, I assume it would um, become invalid when you save it much like the other demo software. So we need to access this sample window. Now go ahead and throw in any sample that you have in direct wave. This is just a little big room kick. Okay, so that's mapped to direct wave. Now the secret sauce is this loop start, loop end. So we'll leave these two, but crank up loop end all the way to the end and switch the loop type to sustained. Now go ahead and hold a note because what we're gonna do in piano roll is play a long note. Now all you need to do is to automate the loop end. Watch as I crank up the loop end we're gonna get that similar effect. And that's what I've automated on the playlist. All right, so you get some funny results. And the cool thing is you guys can mess around with this. Maybe you wanna introduce a vocal, like in my old track on my SoundCloud, only diehard fans would know. It was called Cervantes. It was the same thing, but I did it in the reverse. So instead of doing it, the whole kick shortening, I started short and then extended out until I played the whole word that he was saying. Now I was doing that in Edison. And so um, I recommend trying this out because you can get a really cool effect. You can mess around with the curve and make it faster or shorter. So let's show it to you. Or of course we could get longer. So where do I see this used? Um, any genre, mostly probably electronic but uh, you can do some cool transitional stuff. It could be like, say my name as I do your mama in the fucking backyard, you know? Uh, or you could do, you know, another effect where here, where we take the kick. So uh, I hope you guys like this quick tip. Again, 
throw in direct wave, make sure you switch it to demo, toss in a sample and just hold a note. So you can see here, I'm playing back like nine bars, just a C5, that's what it's playing back. And then you're just left with whatever. If I play this back, and of course, if I adjust this even lower, it's gonna sound weird. Okay, so it's pretty basic, but I wasn't aware of the power in direct wave. And um, right now, to me, what I'm hearing, it kind of messes around with the transient of the kick sometimes. So it seems like you're gonna have to tweak the curve of the uh, ending of the sustained loop. And you know, might be it might be the case where your material works good with a slower curve or a more um, linear curve. So play around with it. I hope you guys like this tip. I'm going to be uh, implementing this or the old school way how I do it in Edison. That also works. If you want to do it the old school way, here is the old school way. Open two instances of Edison. Okay, one that has the sample and just another one switch the second one that one that is going to record to now and hit the record button so we're recording now make sure that this loop make sure that that is on because what we're going to do is we're going to basically let it play and just keep bringing it up we're going to do it manually so this is how you do it manually So that's how I used to do it. Did that in a variety of tracks and that can work, but uh, be mindful that if you mess around with like then having new samples and the pitch adjustment, um, it might not be as seamless as the direct wave or other approaches. Let me know of um, other samplers you guys know. If you guys know any other samplers that do the job, let me know. I'm trying to add more um, tools to my arsenal, but I hope you guys like this tip. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a comment, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a like. If you liked it, leave a like. If you know who Watto is, leave a like. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you sub to my ass because I like subs. Um, if they're vegan subs, you know, I'm all about that, that uh, plant-based um, uh, bark life. Anyways, peace guys. Love you all. <laughs>